First things first, I cannot talk about pricing, where you find them, anything like that here on YouTube because they will delete the video. But if you go on my Rumble page, if you go on rumble.com and search the Mosin Crate, you'll find the same video on there but with a different voiceover from me. And I can talk about all sorts of things on there, be a lot more honest than I can be here on YouTube. So I encourage you to visit the Mosin Crate on Rumble. Check this video out there. Getting right into this review video, we have Czech CZ83. So this is basically a CZ82, but in 380. And I love these pistols because they have really nice triggers on them, both single action and double action. And I would call this a mid-size handgun. I don't know if you'd consider it a compact model or not, but it's definitely going to be good for concealed carrying. You can see that one has a 1988 dated frame there. And if you've got medium-sized hands like me, then you'll find the grip on this handgun is just fantastic. Import marking is there on the front strap. Kind of hard to see, but it is there. And unfortunately, these are not CNR handguns. Even though the CZ82, for whatever reason, is CNR eligible, uh, the CZ83 is not. And I kind of like the CZ83 a little more. Uh, the difference between the CZ82 and the CZ83 is that the CZ82 is going to be a 9mm Makarov, whereas the CZ83, again, is in 380. Uh, so 380 is just a bit more easier to find here in the States. And I like the fact that these have that blued slide. On the CZ82, they kind of did that enamel coating on most of them, and it just... It's really hard to find a nice CZ82, but with CZ83s, it's hard to find a bad one. Uh, they all look pretty good. I'm going to say all of these look like they're in very good condition, but I'm going to go through every single one of them. And we're just kind of go through here and show you the different conditions. And now that we've reviewed those, I've got a couple more for review here. Both of these are CZ83s. Top one has wood grips, which I've honestly never had one come in that has wood grips. And then we've got what I guess would be called stainless. But to keep myself out of trouble, because I'm not sure if that's the technical term, we'll just call it a silver CZ83. And you really don't see those that often either. Moving on from the CZ83s, Israeli Storms. So these are... CZ-75 clones made in Israel. They are in 9mm. Typical CZ-75 trigger on them. Frame mounted safety. Import marking is going to be there on the bottom of the trigger guard. And these are a pretty hefty pistol. I mean, this thing, it feels like it's built like a tank. Uh, we're going to go through these as well and just kind of see what this batch of imports looks like. But overall, I'd say these are probably right around good condition. Some have more cosmetic wear than others. And they imported these a lot back in the early 2000s, and I really haven't seen that many of these pop up since then, uh, especially over the last few years. You don't really see the 
the store model pistol come in too often. Last time I had these, I think I had the all silver model and then I had the all blued model. Uh, they're about the same good condition as this. I, I'd probably even call them good shooter gray just because they had had a little bit more cosmetic wear. Uh, but these are the dual tones. And if you're into CZ75 variants, this is one that you're going to want to grab if you ever find them out in the wild. Thanks for watching this review, guys. Again, if you want to see the much more honest version of this video, please visit it on Rumble. Thank you so much for watching, guys.